Now, let's talk about, in general, how modifications work. Now, how do you determine a payment? What, what are we looking at? Now, and these are all general terms because it's going to depend on the type of modification that you have and the type that you qualify for. But let's start in general terms the way that I would sit if you were just with me right now, how would you start? We're looking at roughly 31% of your gross income. That's a target payment to, to we're trying to reach for a modification. And that's a, a PITI payment, which is principal interest taxes and insurance. So whatever 31% of your gross income is, we're trying to get your PITI mortgage payment to that amount. Now, let's say, as an example, that your gross income is $3,000 a month. The 31% target modified payment, then, is going to be $930 a month. And that's, again, a principal interest taxes and insurance payment. So even if you've been paying your taxes and insurance outside of the mortgage, so it's not escrowed, if we're talking about a modification, they're going to want you to escrow that payment. So it's a complete total payment. So how do we get to 930? So let's say your payment was 1500 a month, and now we're talking about 930. How do we get down to that payment? Well, we use what's called a tier approach or a waterfall effect. And there's a three-step approach. The very first approach is to um, decrease the interest rate down to as low as a 2% interest rate. Now that varies, uh, again, depending on the type of loan it is, but in general, they can potentially go as low as 2%. If by lowering your interest rate from its current amount down to 2%, if that brings you to that target payment of 31%, that's your modification. So if in this example that we're using, if, if 930 is possible by lowering the interest rate, that's the modification, and that's what you get. They turn it, and you're ready to roll. Start making the payments, we're good to go. If that doesn't work, if that doesn't bring you down to the 930 by just lowering the interest, the second tier approach is to increase the duration of the loan. So they'll go out to 40 years, uh, and if by lowering the interest rate and increasing the duration out to 40 years, if that brings you down to 31%, or $930 in this example, that's your modification. Now, very often that doesn't work. And so then the third tier is principal reduction or principal uh, forbearance. Now, what does that mean? Well, if we're talking about for principal reduction, we're actually eliminating part of the loan balance that you owe to the mortgage lender. So let's say you have a $300,000 mortgage, but to get down to the, the PITI 31% payment, they'll actually knock off, say, $50,000 or $75,000 of the mortgage amount so that that brings it down. So between the interest rate reduction and the duration expansion and the knocking off the principal amount, that brings you down to 31%. In an ideal world, there's your modification. Um, if they don't want to do that, and, some, and very often they don't, um, the next thing that they could do is do what's called a principal forbearance, where instead of actually getting rid of the principal, they kind of ignore it for a while. And they put it off to the side. And, and then they count the, the amortization of the loan based on a lower amount. So again, we talk about maybe 50 or $75,000. They pretend that the loan balance is 50 or $75,000 less, and they use the payment based on that to get down to a 31%. In a forbearance situation, however, you got that payment, that, that amount of principal still hanging around, um, most often as a balloon at the end of the, of the mortgage term. So it doesn't go away, so you may still have that hanging out there. So um, just so you're aware, you might get a, a lower payment, but still have all that principal due. You may be way upside down on the house. And I think that's something you really need to consider. Do you really want to do this and be $100,000 upside down on the house? Financially, the answer should be no, um, but just so you're aware of it. Now, in reality, how often do they do principal reductions? Not that much. Uh, nationally, it's 2 to 4% of the modifications that are done to get principal reductions. We're in the 5 to 10% range, uh, which is still not amazing, but I want to tell you, it's just it's a problem. Now, they're getting a little bit about doing principal reductions, but in general, the banks really, really, really don't want to do them. So if you're counting on a principal reduction, uh, that may be a long shot, just so you know. Uh, a lot of attorneys will tell people, oh, we're going to get your principal reduction, get it your... It doesn't happen. All right, so I just want to be straight with you, so you'll know.